you know. Okay. So it's recording. Yeah. Thank you, Hold Jesus. on to it and make okay. sure that you're. Uh, so get, there, get this picture. Can you see it? Yep. So it's, uh, that came out good. You got your uh, car lot? Yeah. All right. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, praise Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Yes. I'm videoing you right here, brother. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. With love. Yes. Just warn about unholy spirits. Praise you, Lord Jesus. You go right over there where you can sit down and sit okay. right there. Got it. Praise you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory, Lord Jesus. If I have to tilt it the other way, is that okay? Keep Glenn? it flat. Yeah, just keep it flat. Right. about this right here. It's good. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory, Lord Jesus. Okay. We praise the Lord Jesus. Let me get over here. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Hi. Hi. Glory be to God. Deuteronomy 18 talks about things that are abominations to God. 9 through 16. This is what we come to bring you, a warning. Hello. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Let us worship. Praise the Lord. Let us preach. Praise the Lord. Let us warn about abominations against God. Yes. Grave sucking, impartation, summoning spirits. Is there an abomination against God? We praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, praise you, Lord Jesus. I'd like to talk to some pastors. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We need this backpack. Wait, your backpack, son. I'll get it. I'll bring it to you. Okay. Right? Stop over here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise His holy name. Are you guys excited? Praise His holy name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes. So Moses was told to write down Deuteronomy 18:9 through 16. And these are things that God said He doesn't want His children to do. He doesn't want them to sacrifice babies, which you guys are totally against, praise the Lord. But he also doesn't want grave sucking, mantle impartations. Those are called abominations. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. So we pray some pastors have some ears to hear that these things are false spirits. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. We don't want to be displeasing to God. We want to be a pleasing fragrance to the Lord Jesus. Jesus didn't come to abolish the law and the prophets. He came to fulfill them. The, Jesus said, if you teach anything less than that, to break any of the least of these, you will be called least in the kingdom of God. So these are serious problems with uh, summoning the dead. Wizardry, it's called. Necromancy. So we're exhorting men of God and pastors to search the scriptures, to discern holy from profane. We don't come to grieve the Holy Spirit. We like a lot of what Sean Foyt's doing. He's hating a lot of evil. He's trying to protect the church. But this is one error that pastors have to be aware of. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Yep, yes, right, necromancy. We don't want to summon the dead. We don't want to go to graves and try to grab an impartation. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God, Lord Jesus. 
Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, Deuteronomy 18 is uh, against God. It's an abomination to like grave suck, it's mantle importation. It's like spiritism. So we're just coming to warn and ask the pastors that they would uh, you know, be watching it. You should be aware of what? Uh, grave uh, mantle importation, people going to grave sites and trying to get the anointing from the dead. That's that's called an abomination. Uh, Bethel. Yeah. Well, that's who Sean Foyt leads people to, and Sean Foyt's done it too. We love Sean Foyt. We know the Lord is using what he's doing, but this is something, just look it up for yourself, sir. Deuteronomy 18, 9 through 16. It, because it, it summons other spirits. Okay. Thank you for listening. No worries. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord always. Hallelujah. 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 Day and night, night and day. Amen. We praise the Lord. Yes, praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We pray that you would bring uh, a few elders or a few pastors, Lord, so we could go over the scriptures. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, Father. Yes. To be able to test the spirits. Praise the Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory. Glory to the Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Uh, we're just watchmen, letting everyone know, looking for pastors to talk to. Deuteronomy 18, these are abominations against God. It's showing you a list of things that they did in the Old Testament to summon yeah. demons, child sacrifice, which we know. So you think uh, that's going on here? Or something? Yeah. Really? Yeah. The grave, the grave impartations, where they're going to like Smith Wigglesworth grave and trying to impart it, and then say that they're yeah, Sister Kimberly. Yes. He said it's free, but Jesus said, uh, "I didn't come to abolish the law and the prophets, but to fulfill them. If you teach anyone to break the least of these, you'll be called least." So we know the Lord is using Bethel and and. Um, Sean Foyt, big time. So we're Hallelujah. Here. We're just here to point to the yes. fact that there are a few things that they're doing wrong. Like you might know that they prayed away. He's so happy to see you here. Churches. Yes. So when they did that, they slandered the churches. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And all the churches, and they used their hand off the Lord <laughs> to pray it away. Yes. Thank you, Lord. That they are the ones that are the Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Sister Kimberly. Yep, it's no necromancy. And stuff like that. So we just made this. So, kind of, we just made this sign right here. Real cool. Like the 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 Lord Lord right here. I go, you, you can Praise use that. You, you can, can use that in your bed. You yeah. yeah. We just test the spirits. Search it for yourself. Worship, worship. for yourself. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord always. He, yeah. We come in a spirit of love and meekness. Brother, he used the word yes. legalism, just like you said he, they would. Did he really? Yeah, he says, let's not do legalism. Okay, so, we are, so we're, we're aware that that's what the NAR does that. They're yeah. called self-appointed apostles and prophets. If you test the spirits, they use that word legalist. We're not. Um, and brother, you discerned that right before you came. You said they are going to use that word. Yeah. Yep. So that's that's a key word they use to come against anybody who's a watchman yes. who will warn that we come in love. Amen. We've yeah. seen we've seen people from our local churches that we love, that we know the Lord uses because the Lord the word never returns void. But this word has to be discerned by men of God that necromancy is summoning the dead. Yes. It's not of God, it's of Satan. Amen. I left the new age. Yes, yes. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Is anybody a pastor or elder? We'd love to we'd love to talk. Yeah, we'd love to talk to any pastors or elders. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes, praise you, Lord Jesus. Yes, we're here to yes. speak to the pastors and elders. We love how uh, Sean Foyt is all about let us worship and didn't want the churches shut down. We say let us preach. Let us stand here as watchmen and preach the word in season and out of season. The word is good for reproof, rebuke, edifying men unto good works. Yes. So we're also called to test the spirits. Yes. In 1 John, 
3 and 4. Test every spirit. Not every spirit is of God's. Many antichrists. So anything that's against God, like if we do necromancy or go to the graves, try to get impartations, that's going to the dead. When Jesus is alive. Amen. Jesus. Yes. Jesus is alive. Yes. All you need is Jesus. Yes. Jesus is alive. Yes. And yes, the Holy Ghost gives the spiritual gifts as He will. Yes. We're not the intermediaries. That's almost like Catholicism where they lift up Mary as an intercessor. Yes. It's actually, you know, I just got a word too. It's like, remember Satan tried to dig up uh, Moses' bones. Remember Satan tried to dig up Moses' bones. Yes. 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 Yeah, the Lord just, just yeah, showed me that word right there. Yes. Glory be to God. Yes, Lord Jesus. We'd love to talk to Sean too. I know he's very popular, so maybe won't, that won't happen, but we would love to. Yes, we pray to talk to Sean yes, in Jesus' Lord, name. Any pastors, Warn any Sean of what's going on. Go over the scriptures with and point to the scriptures. We, we love the Lord. We know a lot of people here are sold out for the Lord. And the Bible says that in latter times, some will be deceived and deceiving others. So we're here to warn of the great falling away where there is lying signs and wonders in 2 Thessalonians 2. So we just want the elders and the people that should be watchmen for any unholy spirits Amen. coming into churches Amen. for the edification Amen. of the church. Amen. We come in love Amen. for the edification, for the building up. Amen. The building Praise up. you, Lord Praise Jesus. Up. We give glory to the Lord remnant. Jesus. Hey, if the video, if it stops working, we, we probably will have to go live, but I don't okay. know how much. How much? Uh, okay, I'll let you know if it cuts Praise out. Praise you, Lord. Whatever the Lord wants to do, He's going to do. Praise the Lord. We come in meekness and in love. Yes. We've already seen Michael. We knew we'd see Michael. Are you guys part of the group? Praise the Lord. Um, we're here. To, we're, we're here as watchmen, like preachers. We would like to talk to some elders or Sean Foyt or any pastors okay. to just go over the scriptures. Okay. Praise the Lord. I, are you part of the group? Or why don't you come join? Yeah. Because we don't want to. We don't. We we, we we just want to talk about. Um, Grave sucking and mantle importation. So we don't want to affect what the Holy Spirit's doing in there. We're just here to warn that that's not of God. These are called abominations. So if there's any, yeah, yeah, Sean Point did it in the past. I don't know if he's still doing it. Bethel has done it. No, no, we have video of him doing it. Okay, well, when they start publicly rebuking it, praise the Lord. Yeah. Bring pastors over there and find out if he's publicly rebuked it. So that's why we're not doing it in there to so not like grieve the Holy Spirit. That would be worse grieving the Holy Spirit, right? But what would grieve the Holy Spirit more? What would grieve the Holy Spirit more? Doing things that are called an abomination. If they're don't if they're not aware of it, they might not be aware of it. Because we've seen that they're trying to say that that we're allowed to do these things and we're not. They're abominations to God. False prophesying. Well, the pastors need to be the pastors need to be watching. They're calling themselves prophets, so and we're being sweet to them all. And we're not even bringing it to anybody. You asked, so we're we're giving you the word. We are. We love you guys. We love you guys. We don't think that you're not brethren. We're just saying that this. No, we love Sean Foyt, and we know the Holy Spirit's using him, but we want him to renounce things that allow unholy spirits in. Grave sucking, mantle impartations. Bethel slandered all the churches, trying to pray away racism in all the churches, and they used a Gandalf sword, which is wizard, wizardry, which is part of this. And So that's what we're saying, is that's not of God, and we believe that they are of God, but we just think that they're thinking that they can do this now when the Bible says you can't do it. Well, then maybe this will exhort him to start renouncing it because we would love to fellowship with you guys as soon as he starts renouncing witchcraft in the churches. Because I don't know if you know, she came out of witchcraft. Yeah, I know what happened. Yeah, yeah. Kundalini. We, we walk in. Yeah. Yeah. We walk in the gifts just like you guys do, but there is unholy spirits coming in, like Kundalini manifestations sometimes. And you guys are. Well, I can see that. Yeah. And I'll manage to cast the spirits out, yeah. 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 
saw me using drugs or something and I was here and I was fellowshipping and you you needed to get me to understand that drugs are leading me to Satan and hell then you would be required if you knew I was doing that even though we're of one heart if there's leaven in there you've got to rebuke it so all we're saying is that this is this has to be rebuked in love so that the church doesn't keep going that way with the NAR the NAR apostles a lot of people do like the videos online where they're not even there. So we're trying to be men of God that will be here to consult with elders and pastors in love. You know, that's a little bit better to where we can get back and forth to where we're not online slandering people. We're saying, we don't want to see it in the church. So do you want us to go in there and literally say, hey, that's an abomination against God? Do you guys renounce it? Well, the Lord always wants to renounce abominations. But it's here tonight. It's a whole movement. Too. It's a whole. So, it is a whole movement. You know, it comes into all the churches. Like we street preach, well, we we, we've been in a lot of these churches, and a lot of the churches aren't receiving sound teaching, and they're just going with you know the revival to cover up a lot of false prophesying over Trump. A lot of the NAR call themselves new apostles and prophets. They prayed away racism with a Gandalf sword. So that's like slandering churches that all churches are racist. So we want men of God to say, you know what? Yeah, I don't either. Hey, man, hallelujah, me neither. That's what the enemy would want. Are you with them? Because they're like falling away. I didn't know you were videoing me. We want everything to be like, you know, we're, we want to be above reproach so that we're saying everything scripturally in love. And we would like to talk to elders or pastors. Kind of, yeah, should be We prayed on it, and we didn't felt the spirit of the Lord leading us to go in there, in there, and because in there, yeah, in there, the Holy Spirit's moving on people that are coming to be moved by the Holy Spirit. So we didn't want to come in there and stop the move of the Holy Spirit. We just wanted to be watchmen out here to warn what Deuteronomy 18 says. Like I just said, I thought it would be more. I can like move farther than it would be. I talked to Heritage Church. The Lord gave me a word in there. They didn't receive it. So a lot of people don't want a real word. So I've talked to churches. Well, if you would find any elders or pastors. Hi, are you with the group here? Or? Okay. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hi, I'm Dave. Praise the Lord Jesus. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Bless in Jesus' name. Thank you. What's going on? I just uh, plug in here. Uh, no, I just was asking why they're yeah, what's going on? With us okay. They, they, yeah. Okay. Are you aware that that God calls uh, abominations in Deuteronomy 18? I'll wait till he's ready. Yeah. Yeah. Have you talked to Sean before, or what? What's, what We've what, talked. What's your problem? purpose here? Yeah, we'll take care of it. Yeah, yeah. What's just your to stand here and have the right to preach, yeah. and not inter interfere with what you guys are doing. Look for some elders and pastors. So, like, are you a pastor or an elder? No, no, no. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So you know, we certainly. We didn't want to go in there and rebuke them publicly while the Holy Spirit's doing moves. Yeah, amen. I don't want to come in here and be an offense to God. But it, what is an offense to God is grave sucking, mantle importations. It's right in Deuteronomy 18. It's summoning the dead. So we're, we should be allowed to stand here. And just stand here with the Word of God. Okay. Are you in we're watchmen. We're watchmen for the Lord, prophetic, just like a lot of they are calling themselves prophetic. But you're concerned that with the message that they're exactly. delivering, may or may not. Yes, and they've got almost all truth, but this is one big error. And if, once they start renouncing it, then we're in their fellowshipping with our hands raised, saying, "Praise the Lord! The Lord used this to edify the church." I'm just by, by the way, this is my uh, partner Carl. Well. Oh, thank you. Um, so, have you have you done this before? Um, we street before? we street preach yeah. uh, every week. Yeah. We street preach yeah. all over. Have you called them before? Did no, they know? no. Who? 
No, but we've gone to ch local churches yeah. to talk about this stuff, and it seems like they don't want to hear it. They call it legalism, when it's just love that, look, it, it's an abomination against God. And, and as soon as they renounce that kind of stuff, like, we don't want to go to the dead and go get that grave mantle. That's so, called summoning spirits. So let me do this. First, yeah. we, we appreciate, right, um, the Bible, what it says, we follow in the Bible, and if we speak this much. Let, let, me, let me get one of um, you know, their, their leader and yes. come up. That would be awesome. And have That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. And we'll just kind of link the Thank two. That would be awesome. We'll leave, and we'll leave. We don't want to cause any disturbance to the Holy Spirit. We have prayed, and we don't want to be an offense to the Holy we God. That. I'm gonna leave you a we love you guys. Phone call, okay? We love you guys. We're not like okay. some people who claim everybody's a Luciferian if they're doing anything. Yes. We know that some people just don't know the scriptures and yes. are deceived and being deceived. Yes. Don't mind that and we want to see some of the pastors be bold in the last days for the Word of God. Amen. And discern the Thank times we're Jesus. in. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. How about you, sir? You go to church? Are you pastor or elder or anything? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. right. But I do go to church. All right, awesome. Do you go to this church? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is pretty easy. It's just Deuteronomy 18, 9 through 16. Yes. Are it's it's Moses. It's prophetic. And if you read it, it's saying that this is what the pagans do. They summon the dead. Yes. They kill babies. So they're, they're against most of it. But they just think that you can grab a mantle from, from the ground. And be a prophet because of it, and that's not against, that's against God. That's that's summoning spirits, spiritism. They probably don't know it. I think Bill Johnson wrote a book saying that that you're allowed to do it now, which is just error. It's wrong. Yes. I just want to point out the error. Yes. Yeah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Praise Him always. How you been, man? Bless in Jesus' name. Yes. Yeah. How's everything going? Awesome. Good, bro. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've been seeing your YouTube videos. Awesome. So. awesome. Praise the Lord. Yeah, really good stuff. Yeah, yeah come out there and testify sports. with us. Like, yeah, if man. you feel led. Yeah, dude. Yeah, if you feel led, find me or message me and come out with yeah, us. Yeah. We'll pray. We'll fast for each other. Pray for family. I would family. love that. Yeah, I've been going to Huntington Beach and doing it. So All right. It's been cool. Man. We just street awesome. preached and a lady <laughs> is full of us. Uh, yes. And she More just was drawn. Yes. And she just, the yes. Holy Spirit gave her tongues right there. Like, we prayed over Yes, truth and spirit. The truth will set you free. Amen. Yes. See, we come in love. We know a lot of yes. these people. We love these people. We praise the Lord. We got to just grow in the Lord. Yes. That's how we grow is with the truth. The truth sets you free. Yes. Yes. Men are supposed to be bold for the Word of God. Yes, by the Paul, the word Paul says that God will give them strong delusion because they didn't care for the truth. Yeah. It's all it's yes. So it's a yes. soft, yes. soft loving warning for the elders to start to say, you know what? I want to check this out and see if what they say be true. Now, are they still doing it? Have they renounced it? Well, they really didn't renounce it. The reality is, is they just covered it over. We want to see them renounce the the falling away, the falling away church. Yeah. Lying signs and wonders, a, a, able to discern Kundalini yes. from Holy Spirit, false prophesying. Yes. You know, a lot of the false prophesying with the Trumpism yes. really dragged the name of the Lord down hey. publicly on TV. Yes. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Yes, praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for help us do it meekness, softly, not to bring any dampening to the Holy Spirit in each person's heart. We're just looking for elders and pastors. Yes. Our sister came out of the New Age stuff. Yes. People we preach with came out of that. Yes. A lot of people have been delivered from drugs and are born again street preachers now. Praise the Lord. I know. You're a Hopefully she will get a man. Yeah. Praise you, Lord. All right, they're gonna try to grab um, one of the pastors. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Yeah. And then we'll go yes. after. Yes. You guys together? Okay. Yep. We'll go after yeah. that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. We're gonna go to get out of the yeah. way of the move of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We want to talk to one pastor. And see if there's going to be any seed sown on people standing up for what the word says. We appreciate that. Just as people coming in, just to hear one message. Absolutely. We don't want to. We want to. 
just talk to one pastor or elder and we'll leave. Yeah, and so they're going to they're going to do their best. Obviously, they're just kicking off. Right. So they said it'll be a few. Minutes. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Where are you guys from? Right here in this area. All right. All right. San Clemente. She's from here. He's from Oceanside. We street preach in different states oh, online. Yeah. I grew up in San Clemente. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Just Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Yeah, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, so the, uh, the dressing's on the field. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I oh, came up. Oh, dang, yeah. Uh, but if you need one, there's actually a restroom right here. Yes, oh, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. More on Just fire. right there in the door. Witnesses. Yes, praise the Lord. Yes. Quick in the church to be out on the streets preaching yes. with us. That would be awesome. We'd love to share our testimony. Praise the Lord. Yes. Always praying for all the saints that they be strong. Yes. Yes. Discern what is holy from what is profane to grow in the word. Yes. To go out there and preach. You know, uh, also, also, also the Mormon church, they actually baptize uh, the dead. They baptize for the dead, which is very similar to this grave sucking, going to get other people's mantles. So... The more, it's similar to yeah, the very Catholic similar church. to dealing with the dead. Yes, yeah, Snicker. Uh, Mary as an intercessor. Yes. So it's going outside of Jesus. Yes, it is. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12 says, as the Spirit wills, the Holy Spirit gives gifts severally. Yes. So we're not. I can't I can't say that she's going to be a prophet. Right. That Lord has preordained her, her roles. Yes. Yes, she is prophetic. But I can't make it her a prophet. And that's yes. kind of what that's happening is they say that they self-impose that they're apostles and prophets. And then they grab a mantle, and then they say that, you know, they did it with Todd Bentley. So they're laying, so what they're they doing is... Todd Bentley. That's another example of bad truth. So what and they're he's back in ministry, by the way. Right. They need to be rebuking Todd Bentley. Yeah. So what they're doing is they're laying next to the grave of like people like Smith Wigglesworth, let's say, and, and trying they, to get the anointing from the dead. Yes. And that's they, what, they have it to give away. So that's what is... And now you got to go to right. them for that anointing. Right. From, so, and they call it a mantle. So Sean Foyt... It was involved in that yes, too. Yes. Yes. Okay. And he probably doesn't know. I know some people that think that he knows. I don't think he knows. And if he does, no, he's 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 been taught wrong by Bethel, who says you can do that now. Right. But you can't. Any man of God will tell you that that's bringing in unholy spirits. Deuteronomy 18. It's called an abomination. Right. You don't want to be an abomination yeah. to a holy The only God. mantle you should get is from the Holy Ghost. Yes. In Matthew 18, Jesus yes. says these people honor me with their lips but their hearts yes. are from me they teach the doctrines and precepts of men they worship me in vain so you can come and literally if you know you're in error your worship is in vain it's not received by god right While others yeah. come here not knowing it and they're they're going to be received by god yeah. so it's a thing where the elders have to be watchmen yeah. and say okay we cannot partner with that anymore we know it's popular we know bethel has right. a lot of the influence on music Yes. But you have to stand against it as men. Otherwise, you know what? You get an effeminate spirit. Amen. And Jesus we said, let the, the dead bury the let the dead bury the dead, men, right? Men end up having women over them. Right. Like Cindy Jacobs. Cindy Jacobs is right. you know, high up in the NAR and she's laying hands and calling other people things that that's coming from her, not God. Yes. Yes. And Todd Bentley is a good example of what happened where Cheyenne, Bethel laid hands on Todd Bentley and said he's going to be the billion soul revival harvest while he was on drugs in adultery and it all came out and he's saying he's a healer and he said God told him to kick a woman in the face. So right. these things I saw are, that. These things are grievous and when you tell pastors that and they just smile and say that they don't act like they're that there's an offense against God. It's condescending it's smile. They have a condescending a smile. They're not watchmen and, and they shouldn't call that themselves prophets. Yes. Well, I'm going to wait for the Lord. I'm going to wait for them. I hope they come yes. to bring this up to them. And then we can pray that the Lord, the Lord will bless it to whoever heard today. Yes, we wait on the Lord. Pray the Lord would quicken people to be go, men. Go, 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 go. Amen. Protectors. We walk in obedience. Yes. Holiness. 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 Testimonies of overcoming. Yes. Not just a, a, a emotional reaction to some worship music. Yes. Being dead to sin, being born again, being yeah, alive in the spirit, being full of the Holy Ghost, to be bold for the yes. Lord, to preach the word, and even stand here when you know you're going to catch things and say, hey, we come in love to give you the word. And we know 
that will bring people to say things about us. They've already been saying things about us, but that's okay. We love them anyway. I wonder if we should move the sign over this way or all the people are walking in so they can see it. What do you think? On the other side. Maybe. Looks like there's more people coming from that way. What do you think? Well, they're driving in this way. We'll just stay right here. Praise the Lord Jesus. For right now, it does look better over there, but... We could switch it. I could sit right there on that on that uh, bench thing right there. They're bringing an elder, hopefully. Okay. Then we'll just be done. I think they were all just on stage. I think that's why it's kicking in. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yes. It's a beautiful day today. Beautiful day today, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Beautiful day today. Yes. A woman. Yes, praise the Lord. Yes. A woman that didn't even speak English. Yes. She was speaking in tongues, never done it before. She was able to interpret. So the Lord did yes. such good things that they both got prayer. Praise the Lord. She was filled. Yes. She got baptized in the Spirit today. Hallelujah. All the Lord yes. got us. Yes. All the Lord just using vessels. Yes, it's preaching the word, no preaching the truth. She came to the Lord and got baptized in the Spirit. Yes. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Yes. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Yes. Brother, there's so many people coming in this way. I don't know. I, okay. All right. Come over here. Yes. Come over here. We can have a private conversation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Yep. Okay, have a great day. Yep. Okay. God bless you. Okay, take care. Charles. Charles. This is Mama. My name's Glenn, Kimberly, and our brother right there. God bless you guys. God bless you. So we didn't, we didn't want to come and grieve the Holy Spirit. We know the Lord is using what you guys are doing. We look at you like brothers. But we want to talk to pastors or elders, and then we're going to leave about grave sucking and mantles. This is like, if you just, I just want you guys to go to the scriptures. Because if you got the Holy Spirit, you're going to discern the truth. Deuteronomy 18, 9 through 16, these are called abominations against God. And it's called necromancy, speaking to the dead, and, um, you know, killing babies. You guys are against that. You guys are against a lot of the things that we're, that we're against as born-again believers, like child sacrifice, mm -hmm. right. like, like transgenderism. I love what he's doing about, you know, let us worship, keep the churches open. Yes. All of this is awesome. Yeah. But one thing that they're doing that's, that's not right is grave sucking and mantle importations. So Bethel does it. Um, Sean Foyt has done it to where they lay on gra graves and they they want the importation, which is not what the Holy Spirit wants. But Sean is not doing that. Sean is not doing that. Number one, this is not better. This is not better. Okay. This is coming when uh, George Floyd died. Yeah. And uh, Minneapolis start ruining everything. Right. So no one stand up in the gap. Yeah. He stand up in the gap in Minneapolis. You can see the videos when all the family of George Floyd. Yes. And now you stand up in Chicago with Kenosha. Yes. All the gas station burning. Yes. One guy killing So you guys running. standing there as witnesses yes. for the Lord. So, yes. Praise the Lord. So <laughs> praise I meet the Lord. for the first time Dr. Charles yes. in the middle of the burning. Uh, jo uh, Sean in Kenosha, right. with the middle of thousands of cars burning, yes. and I'm there, and the three we start worship together, and pray together, and come to the street together. Yeah. It's not better. This is, yeah. this is not okay, better. Okay, praise the Lord. Number that one, you guys, that you guys number are saying two, that. Uh, Sean, what he's doing is a stand up in the God for pray and worship. Yes. He don't represent Bethel, he don't represent any church. Right. We, I need a, he need Are you guys pastors or elders? Yeah, I'm pastors. Okay. Okay. I have it. I so you would see why we're here in love yes. to say that in why we things, coming. You know why yeah. we're coming? Yes. Because yes. we're coming to, to see. Yes. And, and, come and you guys know the Bible says in the last days there's a great falling away. Some will depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. So they allow seducing spirits, which is what that is. And they're not discerning holy from profane. So while the Holy Spirit does move in that, also there's also Kundalini. And there's other stuff that comes in, which is like shaking. And so if they're not part of Bethel, we, we, I mean, we, what, can I, if he leads my, people my, to Bethel, my, they, my, they pray to, listen, you guys will understand this. They, they said that they're new apostolic, new apostolic apostles and prophets, and that they are the ones who are setting up the kingdom for God. 
And what they did is they said all the churches are racist. And they slandered the churches as if there's a spirit of racism. And they prayed it away with a Gandalf sword, which is wizardry, which is all part of this. If you guys would just research that, it's saying that those are abominations to God. So yes. we would love to fellowship with you guys if, if that wasn't part of what this leads people to. I mean, yeah. for sure, you could say more, uh, Doctor, uh, for sure, I, I, this is not represent one church. I mean, and Sean gets, we go, we go to Bethel, I, I go to different churches and everything, he go to different churches and everything. But like, I mean, I come in from the drugs and alcohol, teen challenge. You know yes, I mean? yes, 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 yes. Praise and, the Lord. So I you got a testimony. So you got a testimony. I, I go to praise chapter Lord. teen challenge for too many years. Chapter yes, teen challenge. Bakersfield, Riverside, and the okay. castle. Okay. So I come in from, from heroin yes. and, and affected so you know, deliverance. Okay, exactly. Yeah. So praise sometimes in teen challenge, when brother coming from 20 years fentanyl, we pray and start shaking. Or somebody coming and say, I feel it. So I cannot say, I cannot say, you cannot do it, or you can do it, or something, because in that moment, it's yeah. different. So, so, so you what, understand what, what we're saying, yeah, but what I that pray, it is the Lord doing it, it's not going to a, a mantle, and then saying that I have got it from the mantle, and you need to come to me, because that's what's happening. I mean, They're the mantle, an intermediary. Yeah, the mantle, Bethel, that, that, you, you can call mantle, but really, the Holy Spirit is why they give you the anointing. The anointing is not from anything, it's direct from the Lord, right? Right, right. But, Right here is totally different. Champion is totally different. He doesn't represent white church. He represents uh, Jesus Christ. That's it. And if you come and see for yourself tonight, yeah. you will not see any of this. So are you saying that he didn't partner with any mantling with the Bethel church at any I, time? I, I, are you I mean, saying that? My point is... No, he did. He might, they said he might have announced know. it by now. I mean, I, so like, like, let's say that I went and did something wrong and people were pointing out that it's wrong, I have to then start saying that I, that I did do something wrong and I renounce yes. it. That, that's what they're not doing. Yes. They're saying that it's okay to do it, and they're calling people that say it's not legalist, and it's called the New Apostolic Reformation. A lot of them prophesied about Trump going to be president. They prophesied about COVID, but and it's a is, lot of this false prophesying. Like, this is personal. No, it's I partnership. Mean, no, like, no, no, because a lot of people say rebellion. something. No, no because a, a lot of people say Trump is going to win and they'll win because he's a human being. You understand? Maybe you have son, maybe you have son, nephew, sister, brother, this doing alcohol or drugs or cigar or beer. You cannot control but it's your brother and your sister. Even this leaf is maybe I have a daughter is an alcohol, or maybe I have a son, he he smokes cigarettes. Right. Or my dad maybe see but pornography. As you grow in the but, Lord, yeah, in the but word, I cannot say you become, you become uh, understanding. Yeah, but of I cannot say that you know my dad because you smoke. Or that you know my dad because you hit my mom. Do you know no, what the scripture you know what says? I mean? no, rebellion. Yeah, uh, sin rebellion. Sin, exactly. No, but if we're calling ourselves prophets and apostles, the Bible says rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So once you know what's the truth, if you partner yes. with it, you're not witchcraft. That's what yeah. we're coming to but, tell you. And the church is. And it says we're back, supposed to test every spirit. But, but test exactly. Every spirit. Exactly. So my point is this: I wanna. It's like I me. Mean, if I go into some place to talking to somebody. I want to ask the Holy Spirit. You know, if these people is true because sometimes... The Holy Spirit already spoke. No, no I know, but, but... Yes, but if I go to talk to somebody, because some people talk to me, excuse me, can you send me to me a picture or a message so that way I can invite to my church to preach? And say, no, I don't want to send it to you, nothing. Ask the Holy Spirit, and I belong to, where did to, to you God. Get that from you know, the Holy Spirit. You know what not I mean? A grave, not a person. I want to make sure right. Jesus said, "Let the dead bury the dead." So he didn't say to go to, to go to do a mantle. So if they're calling themselves prophets and they're not renouncing this kind of stuff, that's called rebellion. Is as the sin of witchcraft. Well, so what I'll it is, what. is popularity, you know, and it's. I tell you what. Yeah, we we we've been running with the Sean from June last year, huh? and uh, I've never seen him. Yeah. Sucking claims or doing yeah. any of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. And everywhere we've gone, we've been harassed by the police, yeah, people the throwing rocks on us. Yes, you guys are doing a lot of good things. Yes, we love you guys. It's been, 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 been a lot of Encouraging the churches to stay open themselves. So and we no, like what he's doing in a lot of ways. We just so, don't, we're just not in agreement with what Bethel's doing. The, the thing is, when it comes to civil war within the body, yeah. Um, I think it's it's gonna continue where yeah, yeah. there will be areas of disagreement. Chastening. Yeah, chastening. Areas of disagreement and um, right. 
growing in the Lord, chasing Him, seeing what is of the God, or what is yeah. of God, and what is not. And there are things, there are things we will not be born to be about. Right. And I think learning to to live with each other in areas where we don't. Agree. There are some people who are growing, and yeah. I mean, I look at, I look back at my beginnings and. I see a lot of immaturity. I see things I said and did. Yes. That are like, oh, I can't even yes. imagine I did that. You know. Yes. Yes. But um, that's why we're here in, in love. Last, in the right. last two years. That you guys would see that for yourself, and if it doesn't change, you in, guys are going to be in the last the quickening years, agents. None of this. To see it, especially you coming out of addiction. Same I've thing seen. with me. The Lord used me that way. Yeah. I've seen so then now you have more discernment yeah. because and, you've come yeah. out of that. And I start to see that you you're right, right, right. We just saw a lady that yeah. speaks uh, Espanol from street preaching today get full of the Holy Ghost and speak in tongues, and she didn't even understand what we were preaching. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So we come in here in love. We're not coming here to grieve the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Just keep an eye on this. Yeah. yeah. And just just know we came here in love, and you guys are going to receive the word. And you'll yeah. see it in Bethel if they continue to go that way. But you, you and see, if he partners this church, with it, this church that is hosting the meeting yeah. is not a meeting Right. And so what we're what we're trying to encourage people Sean, to do is come out of the 12 step rooms and go to the streets. Sean, Sean you know what I mean? Happy. Go to the streets. You've been delivered from drugs and alcohol. Go preach the word instead so, of going into a 12 step room. My ministry. Right? So, what, you what, say exactly. Yeah. That's what I've been saying. Come out and start proclaiming instead of going into the 12 step room and talk about a God of your understanding. Go preach the word. You've been delivered, right? Yes, yeah, he's the God that passeth recommend. all understanding. What I would recommend is, uh, you know, you would take this. We just gave the message. We're going to leave. Okay, good. We're going to let the Holy Spirit do what you guys are doing today. Okay. And we, we're not going to cause a big ruckus. We just came in the Spirit of the Lord to bring bring the word, and we're, we're out of here. We awesome. love you guys. We love you guys. Yes. Yes. They're not coming to grieve the Holy Spirit. Yeah, we're not coming to God grieve the Holy Spirit. God bless, bless you. Thank you. No, 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 no. I was Thank in prison. You. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Yes. Yes. 20 years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yes. And just a street preacher. <laughs> yep, street preacher. Just a believer like you guys. Born again with the Holy Spirit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. The, the Holy Spirit Every comes day. upon yeah. those who are obedient. Yeah. Acts 532. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. he came from Minnesota, I come in from Chicago. All right. Minnesota, Chicago. We, we love in Jesus' name, all right? Thank you. Bless you. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Nice though. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys also. All right, God bless you. Take care. Have a great day. See you. We came in love. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for helping. Yes. Good job. Yes, you came. And we did it without yes. grieving the Holy Spirit. That's right. We came here not wanting to grieve the Holy Spirit. That's we saw, right. We saw Michael. We saw a few people. We knew we were going to see it. We said that we were going to see it. Like right after we got it, we saw it. So good. Yes, praise you, Lord. I would have loved to talk to Terry Hogan and any other pastors I, that I love. Yes, agree. thank you, oh, Terry Jesus. Agrees. Terry agrees. Some of them just want gifts more than yeah. they want truth. Yes. And so seeking like spirits from outside of God, you can definitely summon demons from this. Yes. Yeah. I could take that off of you now, huh, Frida? Yes. Yes, praise, praise the Lord. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, Sister Kimberly. Yeah. Yes. Thank, thank you, you, Jesus. Jesus. Let the truth prevail. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to take this off. Pulling me out of new age. Right. Call it out in the churches. Yes, praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, uh, that was another so word that stop. I got was uh, let the dead bury the dead. That's it. That's it. You know, so. That's true. Thanks for uh, uh, coming with us. We had a beautiful day today. You know. Beautiful day out street preaching and then coming here in love. Strong. God bless you guys. God bless so awesome.